Right, so. Okay, so you're going to roll Lordship, which you've accumulated in... How Two. long was it since you became a Lord? Two sessions right now. So that's you get to roll it twice. Oh, well, that... Yeah. No, you have, you've accumulated at least two sessions worth of lordship rolls, so you get to roll that dice twice. So that is wow. <laughs> That's a lot. <laughs> Three, six, seven, eight, eight points. Not bad. How many do I need? Eight. So all of my needs are done. <laughs> oh really? Is that how that yeah. goes? So one, two, three, four. Yep, pretty much. So. <laughs> So you now have a militia, which means that your the headless knights which you've had have now been enhanced. So now you have more of them. Nice. Uh, roll a d3. How many squads of each do you get? The squads are very small, but they're very powerful because they're really hard to kill. Ah, crap. There we go. So you have two squads of each. So you were able to get a second squad, but like I said, they're extremely durable. They're very hard to kill. So unlike instead of having more numbers, you you have a squad. You have squads that are very hard to like. You, they can't get <laughs> internal injuries. It's pretty much you have to dismember them. They don't really have living bodies. They're the dead inhabiting armor and cloth and this other. Their your militia is, uh, is unliving. So you have a battle mage now. Which is, is this a standard mage, or is this non-standard? Roll d100. This is a Damn standard it. mage, so you just get a, a dead, an undead mage. Oh, oh. I wonder what we just freed. Okay, no, his uh, d100, is it the same one? Is it coming back from the grave? It is. Already. Okay, so, <laughs> so that guy, so that guy materialized again. And does he does he have a name? No. So he doesn't remember his name. He's pretty much an amnesiac, but he he has enough like his spirit is renewed. So now he can at least talk. Pico, didn't you just say you wouldn't be back in a while? Okay. Well I lied. <laughs> <sighs> oh well. And besides, he wanted to serve again. I mean it's not every day you find out you've been a pawn most of your life. And he wants a little bit, let's say revenge is a little bit of a motivator. Mm, he can join our side then. <laughs> and it's like, it's not a matter of if he's going to join our side or not, is it he is going to join our side because he wouldn't take no for an answer. Hmm, true. As long as he doesn't kill us, then I'm fine with it. <laughs> well, he has specific targets to kill, it's not going to matter for us. So... Walls enhanced, um... Do a D100, how enhanced are we talking? Okay, so your walls are now charged with spiritual energy, so now anything that's magical will reflect off them. So it'll take... Nice. It'll, ta it'll take... That also works for... Like, things like kinetic force. So if they try to simply ram your walls down, it won't work so much. They'll have to overload the walls with magical energy first, and then try to battering ram it down. But the, well, you need like its specific methodology to take down the walls. <laughs> you have flubber walls. Okay, so is anybody pulling double duty? No. So Fico is actually going to start acting as an enchanter, not just a liaison. Oh. It's like, well, it's seeing as everything's starting to become upgraded, I might as well pull my own weight. <laughs> so you're not curious about why he didn't help you out with any of this before. No, not really. Uh, he's been testing me yeah. almost every single step I do. Well, so. I just wanted to see if you were worth my gifts. To see if you were actually worth what you said you were. And so far, you've proven yourself somewhat useful. So I might as well see what I can what I can do for you. Okay, traders is going to be difficult because you don't you can't. It's hard to trade with you guys. Okay, so maybe also <laughs> is it the dwarves? No, <laughs> it's like is it the dwarves? 
It's not the dwarves. So... Just curious, is it something that also can see spirits? Without them being materi materialized? Uh, no. The people are, they're talking with the ones who are materialized. So, likely they're tricking people into thinking that this is a legitimate fortress, that these guys aren't dead. <laughs> yeah, they try to disguise that they have their they're hosting the dead. So, remember those gypsies? <laughs> yeah, from like a long time ago. Yeah. Yeah, those are back, and they're the ones that are willing to trade with you. Remember, they do they deal business in the harshest environments. So you have two gypsies who act as your traders and also your general store merchants. So they set up kind of an outpost. Is it do a D one hundred? Is it within or outside of the wall? So it's outside of the wall. So they set up kind of a small outpost outside the wall, and they have like a trading post there for because only like the one of them will go in. It's they feel like outsiders. They don't want to go inside. That's not their style either. In case things go south and they need to pack leave, they have the ability to. So they're not attached to anybody. So they're your traders, they're also your transportation and mail system, so they will receive news from outside the land and any sort of transport. So... Z100, did you actually master that teleportation system? So no. Nope. So this is just standard... So now you have two places that are connected if such a thing happens, and that's... Because Grimmall now has his keep, and he has a transportation system. So if you guys were to agree <laughs> to link it together, then you could transport between each other's settlements easier. Then you could just one encounter just to get across the map. So you can get to places faster. Okay, so that's, that's, uh, <laughs> that's for that. So you have one, he has one, but you still have to agree that you are somewhat allies, or at least neutral to each other. So that's meet Lord the Lord. <laughs> and that's here. You're likely going to have to go to his keep, because I don't even think he knows about it. <laughs> Do you even know where his keep is, though? Yeah, I've okay, been yeah, you've there. Been there. So. <laughs> Always got to double check, because remember, you were teleported there. And then we walked out. And then you walked out, and then you walked back in, I guess. Okay, the last thing you have is the, like this outer, this weird outer structure also acts as your embassy. So you're going to have D100, is there any special races you're going to make contact with in this area? Yes. Apparently, yes. <laughs> okay, so what random race could you have in this particular zone? D how many? <laughs> hmm? D how many? <laughs> no, we're not going to do a D one. We're just going to look through all of them. Because this is considered a... This is like a flatlands area, so... Okay, so you have some strange things like... Okay, so one of the things that are in this area are natural plants, and one of the things that kind of is showing up are... They're called Karna plants. Meat-eating plants that act uh, that pretty much don't move. That's at least so at first they were a nuisance because they ate everything in the area, but now you're seeing their use as a defensive measure. They'll eat anything that's biological that they don't recognize. What's the easiest way to tame one? This is actually a very easy question. <laughs> What's the easiest way to it's tame a carnivore plant? Make it think you taste bad? No. That's the way to prevent Is it from it eating food. Feed it something? Yeah, that's pretty much it. It's just, it's just like swamp turtles. You just feed it. <laughs> but the strangest one is not the ones that can't move, but the ones that can move. <laughs> and they're called adult oh. carnivores. plants. The larger ones. That they're, they're just giant walking eating machines. I am Groot. Yeah. Um, they are considered a territorial and reclusive species, which means you don't have a lot of them. The most you have is three. But they act as ambush predators. Meaning, they're like, they they basically made a nest in your base. So, they nest in the base and they hunt anything that, which is common, because apparently there's, uh, with the increasing amounts of undead and other outsiders that are trying to make dominion everywhere else, they have plenty to feed on. 
They'll keep the land clean. So sadly, those armored boars, they're all gone. Because that just extincted... That didn't extinct the species, but that got rid of the natural ones that were here. Because the tornado sucked them up Great. and disintegrated them all. So those defenders are gone, and now we're relying, you're relying on carna plants. <laughs> so so far they haven't they proved friendly. Like you just you feed them and they they're kind of like dogs. You feed them and they're willing to be like you can actually use them as transportation. But not a lot. Oh, I mean they can't carry a lot. They're kind of small. Oh well. They're more like war mounts. You can ride one and it'll act as a war mount. <laughs> See, can you bring them along? Yes, you can bring them along for your current adventure. Hmm. But it might be a little cramped in the tunnel networks. I'm gonna try the diplomatic way, not the hostile way. Okay, so you're not gonna yeah, bring not gonna you're not gonna bring hostile means you're just gonna bring what you can. Alright, so your lordship is pretty much was that really all of your points? Yes, I has eight and nine. Yeah, eight and you used eight. eight so. <laughs> uh, just a question: yeah. Where's my heal and where's my li uh, Where's my library? Uh, yeah, you have a library. Speaking of which, let's see: new guy, not new guy. This is a not new guy. So it's just the the library. They don't really have a need for it. I mean, it's just in terms of the dead, it's like what do, what do they care? <laughs> they just have a place, a repository for what knowledge they gather in the land. And then this is how you learned of the, the... In a way, were you the one that went out and tamed the... So you, you were the one that went out and found the carna plants in the area. The ones that were left. <laughs> nice. And you thought, okay, this is similar to a swamp turtle. Just feed it and it'll follow you. And that's what you did. You fed it and then you actually just walked up and petted it. And then it, after that it just followed. The, the plants actually uprooted themselves and started following you. So now well, they're here. Now they're living in this area. Okay, so there's your library. After, after who's running the general shop, actually? Who, <laughs> uh, indeed? Let's see. Um, okay, general shop is also being run by the gypsies. So, although, like, it's not all of them agreed. <laughs> Some of them agreed, okay, let's stay separate, but ironically that they're they're like surrounded by carna plants now that they have to keep fed. And then the one gypsy actually didn't agree with that and now let's see, is that oh, this female, she didn't she decided, you know, I'm tired of I'm tired of going around as a as a nomad. I want to settle down somewhere. And so here we are. Is she also the one running the inn? Uh no. So you also have an innkeeper now. Is that within? <laughs> the, that's not within the spirits. It. So that would be what. Let's Something see what type of le spirits. this one we can roll with dice on. Six, Something that sees the spirits. Six. That's a better question. So that's a D fifteen. Okay, so six. That is what. And it's a counterpoint. That's plant. a jungle that's type a jungle. Uh, thing. Let's get a little interesting. What's the dice I need to roll? Yeah. <laughs> we already did. No, I already got the interesting. So you don't exactly have a person per se. You more of have a but giant snake. <laughs> All right then. <laughs> so, and this is something you uncovered, like when you when you were in the wild. There's a lot of wildlife that's been displaced here, and when you know this thing shouldn't even be in this area. So, you had walked out, you had found it wounded, it was pretty much bleeding to death. And I guess the better part of you said, let's not kill it. Let's uh, let's see what we can do with it first. So, you kind of took that from Annabelle, where, you know, not everything needs to die immediately. <laughs> At least, let's, let's see what it can do for us, and if it can't do anything for us, then kill it. <laughs> so, a more critical way of looking at it. So, yeah, you're, actually, your library's maintained by your mage, obviously. That's half the time. So the battle majors will maintain the library. He is not a master. He's like a he's a an adept at the unholy arts. Hmm. Cool. 
So <laughs> is he Don't learning? He's not learning. He can't learn another school besides the unholy arts. So you have a, an unholy practitioner on your side. Okay, and the snake is the, the one snake. maintained. The inn is pretty much the whole building. I mean, the whole place is designed to be uh, an inn. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of strange. Roll a d2. So this is like a... So the, sma the snake is a male. Very, uh... <laughs> what's your impression of him? Your impression is, you know, he's very grateful that he's not dead. Because, you know, for any, any other predator out there... But he, the one question you haven't asked is... He hasn't answered is, Why? Like, you know, why save him instead of just killing him outright? I mean, it's just... So what was your reason to him that you didn't just kill him outright? Uh, you weren't trying to kill me. <laughs> okay, so... It's like pretty simple logic, and he can understand the simple logic. So since you were mutually not trying to kill each other, you saw, you know, we'll see how long that lasts. And so he's willing to be... Is he... He's like, um... Who's the who's the snake in? That's something that's oh, starting to happen recently. Is the the wildlife are starting to get intelligence? Whether or not that's dark sorcery is still <laughs> to be decided. Otiv is the other snake. Oh uh, yeah, Otiv is the other snake. So like Otiv, this snake has massive intelligence, where it can it can do conversation, it can do simple thought pro, it can do thought processes. I don't know about advanced. I guess it could do advanced level thought processes, so it can even act as a tactician if you need some sort of advice. What should we do? Ask the snake. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. But that's only if he comes along or if you know what you're doing ahead of time. He can't help you on, on certain things. Mm. Like, and yeah, he also, when he's not there, he spends time in the library learning up on topics. Hmm. That's also a great so, thing. So, what have you named him? Because he didn't have a name himself, so what did you name him? Snakey McSnakeface. <laughs> okay. Well, that's the easy one, but... Oh, yeah. uh, so, we'll go with Snakeface. <laughs> Just... Why? <laughs> because apparently that's the name that's... uh, It's kind of the comical one. That's what everyone keeps calling him. So it's like, alright, just whatever. Because that's my name now. Alright then. <laughs> Alright, now that that's all, okay, anything else? The healer. The healer? Alright, so... That's the last thing I think I don't okay, know so yet. So it's outside, so roll another D16. What is your random... You get random thing, okay, so this is a 1, which is you brought in a mercenary. Alright then. So an outside <laughs> type healer, so you brought in a mercenary. Let's see, what is under the mercenary that's a healer? Not much, I think. Oh, I know, how about an outcast? <laughs> Outcasts are very rare around here. Well, this one is mastered in the healing arts. Let's see, is it... Let me roll something. Okay, so... This is pretty much a man who's... Like, outcasts are known for staying in the wild, so... He came for his own reasons. He hasn't told you any of why, he just knows that... And the fact that he knows that you needed a healer, without actually knowing, like he see, he knew, but you have no idea how he knows. Can he see the spirits? Can any of the new people? Can see he spirits? see the spirits? So he's pretty like it's he can see them, but he doesn't believe they're spirits. He thinks they're actual people. Can Snakeface see them? What can can Snakeface see them? Yeah, Snakeface has perception of the spirits. Plus, he's intelligent enough to realize, you know, they're not, they're not, like, um, that these are spirits. These aren't, these are not living people. The outcasts, not the same thing. I can't eat you. The gypsies. Hmm. What about the, the gypsies? <laughs> Does that the gypsies? Half of them aren't even entering the thing, so they don't have to care. And sure. if they do see them. Uh, what about the general shop owner? No, the shop owner doesn't see right. the spirits, which is ironic, because she's, she's general shop and she doesn't even... She can't oh, see wow. them, but she can do business with them, because she can hear them. And the she can see objects floating and stuff, but she can't, like... The, the skeleton can't probably see them, right? Yeah, because he's... because he just came back from... he came back from the dead. He is a spirit. <laughs> 
Why wouldn't he be able to see the things that brought him back? Oh, he actually is a spirit now. <laughs> huh? He actually is a spirit now. Yeah. Yeah, All he right. died, remember? Fico <laughs> dematerialized his body and then he came back as a spirit. <laughs> Alright. So... He gave you a name. Let's see what the name was. So his name is very, it's like his name is Teshash, but it's like, well, you don't even know what language that is, or where it actually came from, or any of that. So he hasn't given you much, he just says, oh, you know, he can heal people. You don't even know if he can heal spirits. He can see spirits, and he doesn't believe they're spirits, but... Like, uh, let's see... So, I mean, like, he hasn't, tr he hasn't tried yet, so you don't know what he's capable of. Okay, anything else? I think that was it. Yeah, that's about it. I'll have to go do all the assets for later. <laughs> I'll have time now, now that I have a weekend. Oh, I'll have a break, but I don't have a break, so it's like a mix. At that point, um... Do my parents walk out of nowhere? Do you summon them? You have to use spirit call. No, I'm not summoning them. Maybe okay. they just walked up to me. No, they're not just going to randomly back. walk out of nowhere. They're enjoying their eternal rest. <laughs> yeah. well, they came out because they. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's. Oh, fine. They still give me. No, a... they don't just run out randomly. Oh, well, I'm going to go over to the shop and ask them to upgrade my bow. <laughs> okay. Uh, cost you. Roll d20. Already rolled one, I think, before. What, no? For, no, that was for armor. This is for weapons. Oh, that was for repairs. This is for weapons. Weapon upgrade is another D21. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'll say it's free. <laughs> Alright, so you're going to upgrade your bow to another grade. Yes. Do note, I do not remind you that you have these upgrades anymore. I want you to seek them on your own. So if it's important to you, you'll remember to upgrade your items. <laughs> if not, that's your problem. It's not mine. <laughs> mm, I'm doing it so far. So. Yeah. So I'm just um giving you guys the heads up of that's how I do it now. I don't care if uh, you don't do it properly. So which one are you upgrading? Just the bow or the the, bow. the swords? The bow. Okay. So now you have spirit bow four. With all the modifiers. With, uh, <laughs> yeah. It's now like one point. I don't even know anymore. It's a two. Po it's a point two, I think. Uh, no, two. it's not. Not yet. It's times two, I think. So it's yeah. It's at it's at times two now, so it doubles your range damage to eighty. Well, that's not a lot. I mean, like, you still if you had had max ballistic skill, maybe you might be able to do more damage, but you don't. <laughs> well, well, I still got to get paid by Fico. <laughs> yeah, paid for what? He didn't offer payment. He just said complete the task. He said he would pay me. What did he pay you? Like a thousand favor? I think more even. Okay. Did you write it down? Let's go actually look. Uh, did you write Probably this not. down anywhere? Probably not because I oh, thought no. I would use it on Dogma immediately, not on me. Okay. Well, then you don't have it then. <laughs> so you used your payment already. No, I didn't. Okay. It didn't pay me yet. I had to complete the task first. Okay, so... So... Fico's being a right ass, because he's saying, Oh, what payment? <laughs> Half a payment? <laughs> so... You could try and use Deceive here. You only get one shot, though. It's like, can you deceive him into thinking, It's like, yes, you said I would be paid this. So yeah, that's crit 100, crit 100. <laughs> that's uh, that's uh, yeah, and bypass defense. So it's like, yes, you said you'd pay. Okay, how much are you gonna influence him to pay you? Uh. This is bypass defense. So the most you can ask for is a full favor bar, which is thousand. Yeah, that's just thousand then. It's like, oh, here you go, and he just like he just pulls a coin purse out of nowhere and just tosses it at you. So D100. Is it the same thing where no this time you're ready for it? <coughs> it's like ah oh, look your reaction time's improving. 
it has to be improved. So, so what are you going to use the thousand favor on? Do it levels for me. So you're going to level yourself. Uh, or this does not count as a major task because this was a job you accepted and then you didn't complete immediately. Like you took how long did it take you to finish that job? So nine years. <laughs> yeah. So you got all your rewards for the nine years because you didn't exactly do the job immediately. So you have to. This, uh, that's one of the requirements for task end is you have to do it in a timely manner. Because <laughs> if mm. you wait too long, it's like all right. So you don't get as much XP. You don't get the task end at a certain point because you like <laughs> you've had this quest for forever. All right, my ballistic skills is at sixty now. Okay, so that I would get change your. I wish there was a way. We really need to look into that and see if there's a way to adjust that. So that it automatically just uses your ballistic skill. Isn't it now a 120 damage? Yeah, how much ballistics do you have? 60. It didn't change on mine, you edit it first. Or you need to hit enter on all that stuff to make sure that it alters. Now it should have changed. <laughs> okay, now it changed. So that also means you have 15 extra roll for that. So now you have uh, you have a higher degree of accuracy as well. So oh, that nice. means you have what? You have two times modifiers, so that's 120 for your damage yeah. per arrow. <laughs> that also includes the ice. <laughs> yeah, plus the ice. So. so you do a ridiculous amount of damage now. You still could do more, though. Mm, 20. So this will insta-kill a lot of... Uh, anything with below 200 health... Anything below 240 will die instantly to your bow shots. Which is a uh, thing, because that's going to happen, but there's Drake, the different level. Even everything below 40 health. Uh, 480. 480, yeah, that's if you get both shots in. No, <laughs> even yeah. one of the Yeah, okay, 40, yeah, because you have two shots. Forgot about that. Um, I'm just, no, I'm thinking in terms of one arrow shot, I'm not thinking, because remember, you might have to split yeah. it to hit more but targets. The one the one arrow does do 40. That would have been <laughs> funny if you got D100 for all three of those. <laughs> that would have been pretty awesome. <laughs> it's like, there's no way you failed that. It's like, you, you're pretty much certain that it's like, you said you'd pay me, so pay up. It's like, alright, here. Mm, well. Alright, so now what? Just, uh, Annabelle, have you had time to... While Sans was doing all that business, what were you doing? Trying to wake this guy up. Okay, D100. Have you been successful? So, no. You knocked him out cold pretty badly. Is he... Do you think he's feigning sleep, though? D100. Do you think he's feigning that he's uh, knocked out? So you have a feeling he might be feigning it. He might be faking it. Waiting for the right moment. Um. For the right moment. <laughs> I tried tickling him. Okay. Does it work? Okay, it does work. Like, he gets up and he, like, tries to... She uses some of his hands to shove yours away and he gets on his feet. Let's see. Does he draw his blade? No. Because his I blade was, like, behind, was way like behind blade. anyway. He yeah. tries to go for it, but there's no blade to draw. I, like, hold out my hand for a handshake. Okay. Uh, he's looking at your hand, wondering why, he's like, you know, is this some kind of trick? <laughs> but then he's like, he slowly creeps a hand forward and he grabs the hand. Remember, he's got like four, so it's kind of weird. So... So, yeah, and he feels the jolt go through him and then... Like, is he put on guard by that? Yeah, so, he thinks it's like dark sorcery or something, and... Although he feels better, it's like he's still on guard. So, he tries to go for the sword that's not there again. So, it's like a natural reaction for him. Sort of chuckle with that. Mm -hmm. Okay, so... Okay, so what now? What now? So, uh, he's no, taking no, no, a step no. like this way to keep you all in his visual range in case he needs to attack. I'm Annabelle. What's your name? So, so he doesn't understand your language. Um... Uh, I start just going through random languages. Okay. 
Okay. Does any of do any of them work? So one of them does work. Let's see. Roll a d6. What languages? What language? Uh, what magical school might this language come from? So holy languages. So you're speaking in something like. I don't know. What what sounds like a holy language? Um. I've forgotten this. Uh, Enochian. That's supposed to be the language of angels. <laughs> okay, so you're speaking to that, and he understands the language, and then... Like... Do you get, uh... How good is your... Do a D100... How good are you at understanding it? Speaking it, you're decent. Understanding it, you're not so decent. So he speaks to you in a foreign dialect of the, of said language. Now, do you don't quite I understand together, quite enough together. to have a conversation. D100. You have enough, uh, is there enough for you to have a basic conversation? Okay, so you have enough between you to get basic information. Which is, um... Which is, uh, let's see. So he pretty much spills his guts, I mean, just, uh, now that he, you know, now that he knows that you can understand him, they can understand you, that's, um... Like, he mentions things like he was part of the Order of Templar and that they were considered abominations and outcasts. Where, you know, just they, they were considered unclean and unholy because, you know, they had more than two arms. They had four arms. They didn't represent what they saw as the perfect form. Even though they joined the Paladin Order, they passed the rites. They did everything that was expected of them. And then when they found out they had more than two arms, they were cast out. And why did you attack us? So it was, uh, so for him it was just a natural reaction. He was, uh, he was sort of brainwashed into protecting the temple against any threat. They didn't specify what to protect it from. Oh, well, so, sorry we killed your friends. Yeah. So, he, he doesn't hold that against you, it's just, you know, they did their duty. They did their duty of protecting the temple. Even though the temple, like, now he knows the temple no longer has the paladins. And he's got a bit of a chimp on it, his shoulder because a chip on his shoulder because the paladins just left the land. <laughs> he's got a chimp. He's got a chip. He's got a chip on his shoulder because the paladins just left the land. So everything he was fighting for was a lie. Because you know, he fought to protect a holy order. It's like how holy is an order that just leaves the land to its fate? A bunch of cowards. So he's not exactly happy about that. So like he has. He's had friends that have died for that cause, and now he's finding out the cause was worthless. Hmm. The cause It was the cause of corrupt men. Of corrupt people who all they cared about was their own prestige. I'll ask him if he can, like, see spirits around the temple. Yeah, so, he cannot see the spirits. Can I understand him? Say what? Can you understand him? D100. Okay, so yes. you have enough language also, like you can all, how, how, how much is your speaking and, and receiving also? Do you know it better than Annabelle? No. Nope. So about the same competency. So you can also speak with him. Let's see, what about, uh, wait for the dice. Wait for the dice. It'll come up. Dungeon the rises as the dice Okay, come. so... <laughs> She can also, because Annabelle, any, much of what you know, she also knows. And the only one who can't understand is also. That's because she's not a linguist. I mean, she's a warrior, mostly. And mostly, she's an assassin. So, she doesn't do much with linguistics. So, she's hearing a bunch of babble, and she just walks off. Just that way. <laughs> So, what is his, uh, so he's gonna stay here, because he doesn't, like, you know, he wants to make amends for whatever he's done. Oh, okay. I just walk up to him and ask him, like, you're a holy user. Well, okay, like, he's holy uh, magic does he, user. he's not imbued with holy magic. Because <laughs> they saw his mutations before he was fully inducted, so... So he was thrown out. No, you can't learn another school of magic also. No. I'm just like, damn it. Okay. Would have been handy. Yeah, it would have been, but it's not. So. Was that a pun? Was that a what? 
a pun, it would have been handy. Ha 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 ha. <laughs> no, it wasn't. I guess so. Ended. <laughs> Uh, he's not amused by said pun. But it wasn't meant as a pun, yeah. so I just said it to myself. Yeah, you said it to yourself. Well, he wouldn't have been amused by said pun then, so... But it wasn't out loud, thankfully. Alright, so... That's all the business, that's all the prisoners. You guys, you have the chance to update before you go into the tunnel. Oh yeah, I turn to Sands and say, See, we didn't have to kill him all way then. <laughs> what if he was to turn hostile against us? Then we'd probably have to end up killing him, but... Yeah, I mean, that's the yeah, obvious. Just <laughs> that's, that's obvious. In some cases, I'd rather mm. not. So, hold on, I'm, I'm rolling some stuff. Okay, so... Also, let's gather some intelligence on the tunnel, but it's not, it's pretty fragmenty and they're not really sure. They've explored sort of a, a little bit, but there's not much to say. I mean, like, they get to a certain point and then they hit a bunch of dead ends and pitfalls. So, oh, wait, um, before we go, I have to okay. talk to Sands okay. if he can okay. organize an upgrade for my site. Okay. Yeah, you got the one hundred. Can you can she work on like? Cause this is a, a this is a mechanical weapon. Can uh, that's a D one hundred sense. Do you, can they work on a mechanical weapon? Okay, so they can. So you can you I'm can like, authorize sure for me. Okay. I look at the pricing. <laughs> it's like one favor. You can <laughs> easily get a weapon upgrade. So. Um, I'm I'm just. Talking to Tiner, okay. according to Annabelle. Can you? So you're you're seeing Sains is it like kind of crazy that he's talking to the spirits, or? No, I'm, I'm just assuming that there's something there. Now. You assume. <laughs> uh, are there any physical signs that any of the? So there are physical signs like that. You offer him the offer the the blacksmith the site, and the site starts to float. So, like, you see things like uh, they're going over to, like, an anvil and they see a hammer rise and fall. So Annabelle can see objects moving, so you know there's something there. They're the same as Fico, just they'd yeah. rather not be seen. Yeah. They'd rather be mischievous, mischievous and make you look crazy. <laughs> so, so what did he enhance it with? So he didn't enhance it much, he just strengthened the blade... And strengthen the, all the me mechanisms, just refurbished everything so that it does a little bit more. It's a little easier to wield. Let's see, did he did upgrade the weight? No, he did not. So it's still a heavy weapon. So um, does the fact that it's like easier to wield make me be able to um, attack more? That is that to the. That's one of your modifications. That's for because you now have you've reached level five. You can get a third modification for your weapon. So third. now you no, do. Don't hold on, let me do the damage first before we move on. So you do a hundred. Now you do a hundred and fifty because you have a, a five modifier, which also means you do more life steal as well. So you do fifteen health for life steal. So. 150 slash, you have 15, you, you steal 15 HP, you still have the stun. The enhanced crit can go three times, which is close to 450 damage in one strike. Okay, so, and you said you wanted to add a third modifier to swing it more. Yeah. Okay, so roll, let's see, low number, high number. Low number, roll a d5. How many more times can you swing your weapon? So this, you can swing it three times in succession, so you have a three X attack, but that will eat the last of your of your upgrades on your weapon until you get more. Okay. Well, I'm you actually have a plus one modification. You can get four modifications for your weapons. You just never used it. You never got all three. <laughs> no, that's where the stun was. Yeah. So. Yeah, that's a stun, but that's you have never missed. You have stun, and now you have a uh, 3x target. Oh, so I can get one more. Yeah, so you can get one more modification because you have the you spec into traits. You didn't spec into aptitudes. 
Um, can I increase the power of the stuff? Uh, no. Because <laughs> that's another modify point. That's uh, that's 500 favor per modification. They can go up to level 5, so you can get, at maximum, you can get a plus 25 modifier to the stun chance. So you have a higher chance of getting a stun. Okay. So currently you have no modifier, but as you get it up to level, you'll be able to get plus 5. Or plus 5 each upgrade. Uh-huh. Okay, so... And how that works Priority. is the first one unlocks it, and the one after that will... Oh, shit. My tabs are getting all messed up. Oh, oh. no. I can't get back to the... I'm trying to get back to the main window, but it's acting up. Well, nah. Nope, there goes everything. Okay, there we go. Now I'm back to the main window. I thought it was... It's like that was closer. <laughs> Alright, so. Your upgraded higher weapon. Is there anything else? I'm gonna ask Ona before we leave how old I actually am. What are you actually? How old I actually am. What, Onar? Yeah. <laughs> so he's not gonna tell you. It's like, you didn't need to know. Because it's not important. I don't like, I so need to it's know like, that. boy, you have a habit of filling your thick skull with a bunch of shit you don't actually need. Yeah, I think you need to stop that habit. This is Onar talking like a teacher to a student. It's like, why, it's like, why is that, so his next question is, you know, why is that relevant to you? Are you just, is, or is it going to be just your usual answer? You're just curious. I'm curious of it, and also i rather know how I am, so I don't have to apply it to anyone. That's like, well, who's actually asked your age so far? <laughs> Not a lot of people, actually. <laughs> And he's like, he's looking into it, it's like, exactly, it doesn't seem like many people really care. And even if they he did, you can make something you. up. He sounds how old he is. Okay. It's Annabelle, though. <laughs> what, are you just asking him just to, to mock Onar? I, I can't hear Onar, but okay. he's like talking to oh, himself oh. about his age, so I'm just like, how old is he? Okay. And it's like, and he, just, he just points at her and it's like, she doesn't count. Well, if you've been dead a thousand years, okay. that would make me... It's like, that's just a rough impression, I don't quite know. Thousand myself. thirteen... ish. Yeah. Oh well. That's like, so, it's like, that's just a rough number I came up with. It's been so long, it's, it's so not long. like I'm counting. I haven't been dead for a thousand no, years. No, no, that's so. Onar talking. It's like, he's <laughs> no, been dead like so saves. long that he's like... That he stopped. Sane he stopped, stopped counting. Stopped. You were counting how old you were. Sane said that. Well, you've been dead a thousand years. So I must be a thousand and thirteen. Yeah, and Onar says that's a rough estimate. That's his rough estimate of how long it's been. It's he's not really. Yeah, sure. but because I can't see Onar, I say I haven't been dead a thousand years. Oh, okay. You haven't been dead at all. Is my reaction to that? Well, maybe once or twice, but. Well, you haven't oh, died. Yeah. Well, you haven't died. Died. You've just been downed and bleeding to death. Near death experience. Close enough. All right. <laughs> so, so yeah, he's not going to answer that because it's like you're just you're filling your head with a bunch of knowledge you don't need. And currently, it's, it's like, he doesn't see like Onar has been the type of person to say it's like only put in your head what you actually need. Don't put a bunch of random garbage in there. So, and for him, his definition of what is important is very different from other people. Like, he, does, like, he doesn't count his age anymore because it's been so long. He doesn't count what type of dragon he... Like, there's just certain things he just doesn't care about. <laughs> okay, so... I'm just gonna do this. <laughs> and Fico's, Fico's not doesn't resist any of that. So, who are you calling? My parents. Okay, so... <laughs> See, where is that under? Is that under your folder? No, it's under allies. I don't know. It's not under your command, so it's considered allies. So, D2, do you call them both, or do you just call one of them? So, you just call one of them, so you just call your father. 
Dad, how old am I? Not <laughs> much. It's like, oh, no, you've been counting? No. It's like, you ask me like I know. I didn't ask you shit. Okay. Yet. Yeah. So, okay, so what are you asking? You just got there, so it's like, yes. How do we get... How do we navigate the tunnel? It's like, so he's pulling out, like, a map chart. And it's like, this is a map chart of all the tunnels. That are, this is a map chart of all the places you need to go. Can you read the map? Because it's a technical map. It's not a... So okay. you're going to have a hard time analyz analyzing it, because this is a technical map. This is not so much a, for people who don't know advanced engineering. <laughs> so what nah. about... Let's see, Onar... Onar can read it, so... Is Onar coming with So, me? like, he passes it to okay, you, you look at it, you have no idea, and then Onar snatches it. And it's like, I can read this. I'll get us through. <sighs> well, it's like, that's the most I can do. I don't know if they... And it's like, uh... You just have to realize that it's been a while since this chart has been relevant. I mean, I try to keep it up to date, but there are starting to be magical ways for them to keep spirits out of those tunnels. Mm, so, great. I can't... So, he can't keep reconning without endangering his soul. That's about it. So, what's the... Roll a d4. Or, roll a d3. Let's do a, three, a d3. So, it's been at least three months since he last updated the map. So, a lot could have changed. Nothing could have changed. There's plenty of room for... <laughs> what has happened. But that's the best he can do for you. Because he can't guide you on much else. If I get into the Funus using this tunnel, where do I have to go? Okay. To not be immediately attacked. Okay, it's like there is no place to go without being immediately attacked. All the entrances are covered. Every, every available tunnel, it's like according to the way he set up security, every available tunnel has a guard station at the end of it, at its terminus, where Funos is. So you, there's no way to approach the city without entering a guard outpost. Doesn't mean I have to fight. Yeah, that's he didn't say that. <laughs> he just said, there's no way to get into Funos without hitting a guard outpost. That's like, likely they'll try to shoot you on sight, because you're a blue dragon now, you're not a black dragon. So you're going to have to come up with some way. Well, they have traded with blue dragons before. Okay. That's like, yeah, but that was then. But let's see how that holds now. So, uh, what's his, uh... Let's try. That's like, you can try, but are you really willing to risk your life to get into the city? Because that's uh, that is what you're doing. And not well, just him, trading so with like, she's looking, he's action. looking over your shoulder, and it's like, not just you, but the lives of your allies as well. Because their lives will be riding on your life, and if your life goes, they may be next. Actually, they're trading with... What kind of dragon was play again? What? Yellow or... Red uh, or... What drag? Wait, what? who's trading with who's what? Who's Pei was a fire dragon. Yeah, Pei was a red dragon. Mm. From what I've, what I've seen and discovered, they're either trading with a red dragon or they have captured one. Okay. That's like, uh, it's like, he has no idea what you're talking about, so... Just, the uh, the whole Pei situation is lost upon him. He's, he hasn't heard this news yet. So it's like, so it's a, likely it's in the, whatever they're trading with, it's in the best interest of the Black Dragons as well. So it's like, what exactly was this re, what exactly was it that she stole? She stole Eero's research on yeah, how to He has to no idea who Eero breathe, is. How to breathe any dragon sword anywhere. It's like, hmm. So it's like, oh, so that research is still going then. Oh, I guess Incomplete. somebody, I guess it's like, I take it this Eero found a breakthrough. He found he a way. So it's and like that, died, uh, that goes ill for all of us then. He did, then he died. He asked me to get rid of the research. 
It's like, well, given yeah, it's like given the complications. Yes, that would have been wise. But I take it, sh I, this pay got to it first. Suddenly enough, she did, and then she disappeared. Yeah, and it's like so, and it's uh, like he's just probing you. It's like so. What is the evidence that he's going to Funos? Hero found a crystal that they use in their weapons to focus their okay. shots. So, do you have the crystal on you? Is the D100? Did you actually bring the crystal with you, or did you just leave it? So I you brought the crystal with you and you put it in. And like Sains is just grin to grin, ear to ear, smiling. It's like ah, I remember these. I remember prototyping these into our firearms. It used to be highly unstable. I can't believe they have. And then he's looking at the crystal. He's like marveling at the engineering. It's like you see how this is cut. This is cut in a way where it'll channel the magic, but it won't overload. It's a prismatic crystal. It'll contain the magic, and it'll contain it in almost a infinite compounding method. So, do you understand any of his techno babble? Saying like it's a prism. It's a prism property where it'll reflect. So you don't understand what he means. So he's like he sees that, and he tries. It's like this will reflect magical energy inside of itself to store like a battery. Which you can then unleash out of the focal points at the end. Ah, that's just damn it. So they can use. So it's like. So they're not using standard ammunition now. They're using some sort of magical rounds. They're not even. It, it's like, and it may be that they're not even using rounds at all. That they're using just a, a self-replicating system of crystals that bounces the energy around like like a self-recharging battery. So in a way that gives them almost infinite ammunition, because all they have to do is wait a little bit for the battery to recharge itself, or swap the battery with another battery. That's uh, so the other ones can recharge. That's way it's like too very many. sophisticated. I remember prototyping this. I can't believe. I guess someone's continuing my research. Where in the city do I find find your friends? Okay. Well, likely he'll be at one of the guard outposts. Which one, I haven't been able to discover. Damn it. So, it's like, um... It's like, just ask for Captain Shun. Maybe they'll know that name. Maybe he'll still be around. If not, then... Try and get out of there. I don't think it would be safe at that point. Hey, Sainz, Sainz, if, if we're gonna have a problem getting into the city, we, we, we could just wear nuns' outfits. Nuns' outfits? You, you, you might be we, able we to should do get that. into the habit of disguise. Okay. You might be able to do that, but they'll just smell out my... Yeah, you forgot nose. sense of smell. That's just blocking sense of sight. Well, I, I said all that for a pun, but I don't okay. think either of you got it. Yeah, so he said, you said a pun and Sainz is being all serious. A habit is a nun's outfit. Mm -hmm. So anyway... <laughs> <laughs> like I said, he did a pun, he didn't, it kind of swept over Sainz's head, because he's in serious mode. It's like, that's not going to work because of sense of smell. That was his response. Wait a minute, aren't you supposed to be super sneaky? How, how come you haven't marked your sense of smell? Doesn't have to do anything with me. No, like mask his smell. Oh, mask. Was never. Was I actually thought? So there's a little trick you have to do that you can't replicate because you're an ice dragon. You can't teach you it because it would cause untold damage to your soul. And he'd rather not harm his own child just for him to get into a city. So the most you can say is, you know, ask for Captain... Ask for Captain Shun. If Captain Shun isn't there, then your waves of getting in have just been limited. 